you know, look, I guess I would say a couple things. One is um, everyone I've spoken to who's involved in this process at some level is trying as hard as they can and devoting as many resources as they have to ensuring that they can accomplish this well and do it in a way that gives people comfort that the process was followed and there was no illegitimacy involved uh, in, in the collection of the ballots, the counting of them or any other part of the process. So that's point number one. Point number two is I would say that that we, we probably still have a, a ways to go. And, and I think in terms of understanding, you know, this election is not gonna come off perfectly. Uh, there are going to be some scenarios and situations that will get reported on where there will be questions. And I think the most important thing in those situations is for the authorities who are involved to be transparent about what's happened, about the nature of the process, where there may have been difficulty. I think people are much more likely to have faith and confidence in the process if transparency is a theme that's followed and followed closely. And the last thing I would say is I, I think, you know, I'll echo a point the secretary made earlier, which is we need to be patient about this year's process. It is potentially going to take some time. And even if we don't know everything, chapter and verse on election night, that doesn't mean that the process is somehow broken. In some cases where, for example, ballot counting cannot begin until very late in the process, it's going to take time to do this the right way and to do it well. And I just think it's important for those who report on this, for those who are part of this process to emphasize that the responsible approach is to recognize it, it's going to take time potentially. And, and that, that's not a satisfactory thing. We as Americans want our answers and we want them now. Uh, but, but that's not necessarily going to be possible in every single situation this year.